Ferrari works to bring forward improvements to the Japan GP Fred Vasseur had called for more aggressiveness at Ferrari and the team achieved the double with Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc in Australia. Now, the team principal is pushing to bring forward the first major changes to the car for the Japanese Grand Prix. After two Grand Prix dominated by the fear of making mistakes, in Australia we saw another Ferrari team brave and determined to show the true potential of the SF4. The result? A red one too, with Carlos Sainz victorious and Charles Leclerc second. Of course, Max Verstappen's retirement paved the way for the prancing horse's triumph in Melbourne, but there is no doubt that the focus changed at Albert Park. Credit goes to Fred Vasseur. The French team principal had realized that with a resigned attitude, it is impossible to challenge Red Bull and demanded an offensive Ferrari. In statements prior to the trip to the land of the kangaroos, he had given the signal of the change of line. We are determined to adopt an aggressive approach to try to put pressure on the rivals who have had the best of the two races. Said and done. This spring, the team that Vasseur moulded to his will blossomed after last year managing a project and a team that had been outlined by Mattia Bonotto. Vasseur is fighting against the fear of making mistakes, an atavistic evil of sports management. In Formula One, it is important to have winning drivers and a competitive single-seater, but everyone knows how important it is to bring improvement packages before the rivals in the hope of breaking a certain hierarchy of values. Let one fact be clear. In Suzuka, we will again see a very strong Red Bull, where the qualities of the RB20 should be exalted in the initial string of corners of the Japanese track, but Ferrari does not want to be submissive. For the Japanese GP, a small aerodynamic evolution is planned for the evolution planned for Imola, the first European race, where the SF24 will literally change its face with decidedly more extreme bellies and narrower radiator intakes. In Maranello, they are trying to bring forward to the next GP the premiere of a floor with changes. It may not be completely new, but they could introduce modifications in a part, since this decisive element to achieve performance is now designed in a modular and not monolithic way, precisely to allow interventions during a race weekend, fruit of the work in the wind tunnel, and to speed up the development. According to rumors, we should see some novelty in the central part. The development of a complete flat bottom has long and very precise deadlines, while the intervention on a part is certainly easier because it is circumscribed. The Italian team will try to anticipate the plans to give the drivers an extra tool to put more pressure on Red Bull. It is possible that surprises are also prepared in Milton Keynes, as McLaren, very comfortable on the demanding Japanese track last year, could try to get closer to Red Bull. Also because, with the return of China to the calendar after five years of absence, the sprint format will be proposed with a single free practice session before qualifying for the race, discouraging the introduction of novelties to be deliberated in an hour, as it will be better to devote the little time available to tune the car for the Shanghai track. The same applies to Miami, so either bring the changes forward to Suzuka or make a big package for Imola. Verstappen will go to Mercedes. At some point, Wolf says. Toto Wolf believes that the relationship between Mercedes and Max Verstappen has to happen at some point, and that the Red Bull driver is the number one choice to replace Lewis Hamilton. When news broke of Lewis Hamilton's decision to leave Mercedes to join Ferrari in 2025, Max Verstappen seemed on track to fulfill his contract with Red Bull, which expires at the end of 2028. However, the controversy surrounding Christian Horner led Joss Verstappen, Max's father, to claim that Red Bull would explode if the team principal remained in his position. As speculation grew about Red Bull advisor Helmut Marko's position in the face of rumors that he leaked information to the press, Verstappen made it clear that his future was tied to the Austrian. 
It has also come to light that Verstappen had a Marco clause inserted into his contract, meaning he can leave early if the 80-year-old leaves. All this adds fuel to the idea that Verstappen could replace Hamilton at Mercedes from 2025, a year before the big regulatory change in power units, amid rumors that Red Bull's fledgling engine program is behind Mercedes and Ferrari. Speaking to Fox Sports Australia, Mercedes boss Wolf says a relationship with the extraordinary Verstappen has to happen at some point. Asked when he will decide on the vacancy he has for George Russell's teammate, Wolf said, We have a free slot, the only one in the top teams unless Max decides he is leaving. Then the seat will no longer be free with us. Wolf said Mercedes would make a decision around the European summer, but noted that the outcome depends on what Max does. Mercedes had the opportunity to sign Verstappen when he was racing in European Formula 3 in 2014, but couldn't offer the now three-time Formula 1 world champion a top-flight seat for the following year, something Red Bull could throw its second team, then called Toro Rosso. I had seen him in Formula 3. He was very good, Wolf said. I have a good relationship with his father, so we sat down in my house in Vienna and said, what can we do? I couldn't give him a seat in Formula One. I said, let's do Formula Two together, fully financed, and I'll guarantee you a seat next year in the car. He told me, I have an offer from Red Bull for Toro Rosso, basically as of now. That was it. I knew we couldn't compete with that. Halfway through the season, in 2016, he replaced Daniel Kvyat at Red Bull and took the seat. Asked if the relationship with Verstappen could mean coming full circle, Wolf replied, Exactly. So it's a kind of relationship that has to happen at some point, but we don't know when. He also claimed that Verstappen was currently the number one choice, although he could not rule out other candidates such as Fernando Alonso, Carlos Sainz and FIA Formula 2 driver Andrea Kimi Antonelli. At this stage, Horner does not discard signing signs or Fernando Alonso for 2025. Sainz, who was still recovering from an appendicitis operation, won the Melbourne race after overtaking Max Verstappen on lap two when the Dutchman began to have brake problems. After Verstappen retired on lap four, Sainz comfortably held off Ferrari teammate Charles Leclerc to take his first win since last year's Singapore Grand Prix the only driver other than Verstappen to win a race since April last year. Sainz will lose his Ferrari seat to Lewis Hamilton in 2025, making him the highest profile free agent in the driver market. But amid rumors that Aston Martin's Fernando Alonso could also be in the orbit, Horner has given the strongest indication yet that Red Bull is willing to look outside its own driver pool. I think we want to form the best pairing we can in Red Bull Racing and sometimes you also have to look outside," Horner said, before referring to Sainz. Today, a very fast and unemployed driver won the race, so the market is reasonably fluid with certain drivers. Fernando Alonso's move to Red Bull is heating up. Briatore and Horner are already talking. The Spanish driver's manager is working behind the scenes to reach an agreement. The possible signing of Fernando Alonso by Red Bull is the big market operation that Spanish Formula One fans are dreaming of. As if there were not enough ingredients to spice up the matter, the opinion of Flavio Briatore, the Spanish driver's manager, is already known. And the Italian also visualizes a move that would have the power of an earthquake. Fernando Alonso at the wheel of the best car on the grid in 2025. Sergio Perez's contract expires at the end of the season, and Max Verstappen's situation is not at all clear either after the scuffle between his father and Christian Horner, who has been ratified as Red Bull's top boss by the Thai owners, of the team and has emerged strengthened from the scandal with a female employee who came to threaten his position. So the Red Bull seats for next season are a complete unknown.